but Benfica is not done. Ethan Geronimo sends in a service. Look at the scissor kick for the goal. What is going on? Adelino Benfica drills his second goal in a seven minute span. This one as pretty as they come. The Red Raiders catch fire out of the half and they take a two nil lead here. In the 14th minute, Christian Gonzalez shows off a lethal left foot. What a missile. That shot is pure devastation. We have to take another look at this incredible blast. Gonzalez is able to pick it out of the air and the ball hits just a little piece of the woodwork for a spectacular goal. You can tell that early Pennington goal lit a fire under the Grey Bees. Two minutes later, Amadou Han comes through with an absurd finish. Wow, Han is a star in the making. We run it back. The freshman expertly plays the ball back to himself for a spectacular goal. 12th minute here, it's 2-1 St. Benedict's. Now comes a key moment in this match. Benjamin Mills takes the corner kick. The service, it's perfect. And Eddie Krupski scores! The Rutgers commit comes through once again for the Pirates. He's got a knack for the big moment. His 28th goal of the year gives Seton Hall Prep the lead with four minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. Krupski is clutch. In the 56th minute, Union's Paulo Ferreira with the service. It hits two heads before Josias Mendez crushes this volley. It's off the post for a magnificent goal. Mendez has the Union side in delirium for good reason. He picked the perfect time for his first goal of the year. Mendez takes it right out of the air. The result was one of the biggest goals of the year for the Farmers. Union takes a 1-0 lead. Southern has an answer in the 53rd minute. Brody Nicarlo puts plenty of leg behind this kick and that will find the back of the net. Talk about dialing one up from long distance. The sophomore scores from over 50 yards out to put the Rams back in front 2-1. Final two minutes of the first half. Luke Strada working on the right wing. He makes the feed, it can't be cleared. Matteo Niglio, the volley, bar down! That is magnificent! Matteo Niglio has leveled the match. Take another look at this marvel. Niglio with some great body control and the wizardry. That is some goal. At the half, we're tied at one. Delran gets a corner in the 35th. Julian Viega sends it in. Roscos on the header. It's a first half hat trick. Scoring in November means more knowing what's at stake. Get this. Drew Roscos has eight goals in his career in the state semifinals, 22 in his career after Halloween. Mr. November gives Delran a 3-1 lead at the half. 74th minute, Santino Scarponi with the free kick from 28 yards. How's that for an exclamation point? Another sophomore comes through for sure. Scarponi has the Blue Devils faithful fired up and they have been waiting 53 years for this moment. The last time Shore Regional played for a boys soccer state title was 1970. In 2023, the Blue Devils are back in the state finals. It was worth the wait. Pennington continued to work even with that one goal lead in their back pocket. It led to plays like this. Bakari Tanjagora brings down the house with an elite strike. Are you kidding me? The junior delivers maybe the goal of the year in New Jersey. It is deserving of another look. Bakari Tanjagora could not have hit it better if he tried. Pennington now leads 4-2 with 25 minutes to play. It's Sobrero who gets the call from 20 yards out. Magnificent! Whoo! What a strike by Matt Sobrero! St. Peter's Prep scores on a beauty. That's the first goal given up by the Grey Bees this year. Sobrero's able to get it over the wall. The Marauders take a 1-0 lead. St. Benedict's in the rare position of trailing in a match. The Cardinals were generating pressure and they finally broke through. 
Hans Zoller buries a world-class free kick for the goal. Is that for real? Zoller is Carney's star player. He hits a five-star goal. This ties the match at 1-1 with 16 minutes to play.